All right, guys, welcome back. It's a different episode. Today, we're going to be making this medal, learning how to make a medal for any occasion. For this one, it happens to be a medal for Alpha, Eta, Mu, Beta. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to define the plane views and origins. We're in millimeters, and we highlight our origins and our planes so you can see them. They're visible. If you want to, you can turn them off here by clicking this, this eye-looking icon, and it'll become invisible. So I'll be going over the tips and tricks on how you can create this, including which features to use. So as you can see, we finished the sketch and that will be the base for which our metal will be built on. And we made it on this plane. Next we want to do is extrude it. Extruded. The next thing we want to do is we want to know, we want to be able to draw on this metal and etch something to commemorate it with. So if it just so happens for this one, we're drawing the AEMB logo to commemorate that honor society. So let's do that. We're going to be using the canvas feature to allow us to insert an image to sketch over. Once that is done, as you can see, we'll be able to trace over this canvas we made to fit our new sketches onto this metal. If anytime you want to adjust your sketch, your canvas, you can do so right here by clicking on the bottom left and access your family tree for any feature you'd like. So once you make this general A shape by filleting, trimming, and sketching, then you're, you're satisfied with the shape, then you can just go ahead and finish the sketch. And what we're going to do now is we're going to extrude this sketch. So we can create the depth of the metal. So we're going to go ahead and extrude. We're going to select the areas we want to extrude from the sketch, or let's choose these blue shaded areas. The finished product will be basically, once you look at it, this highlighted blue regions and this outer ring is extruded into the metal, leaving uh, like a relief impression of the A. 
the next step would be to put these alpha, eta, mu, beta letters on top. So let's get to that right now. That the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connecting to the great mind. So once you're satisfied with your sketch and you inserted this text on the top and the other half text on the bottom along those two paths, then go ahead and finish the sketch. And what we're going to do now is extrude it. We're going to extrude this sketch and this one at the bottom. And we're going to extrude them outward so you can create a relief outward onto the metal. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this object and move it. And you'll see why, because we're going to make stars around the ring. So once you drew this star, you want to do this extruded. And extruding it will basically allow you to make a star infill into this, this metal. So once you have the metal and you have these star rings on the side, you can go ahead and start thinking about whether you want to fillet it on the sides and adding the piece for the actual 
chain to attach to the metal or the ribbon. And once you are done with that, then you consider looking into adding color and material properties to this metal. So let's do that. So there you have it. This is how the metal looks like, and you can go ahead and if you want to render it. Let's just go ahead and render it. Get a more realistic look. Uh, also, if you want to make this into any other design, you can just use the canvas feature to trace whatever logo you want to, or event you want to trace on, on, and just follow the same steps. Let's go ahead and render this. Actually, I think we can also mark this blue.
So now once you've infilled all the stars, then you can render it. And to start rendering, it's pretty simple. You just need to set it up, set up the render. You can change those environment settings and the library as well. It's basically like an in virtual studio where you can modify the image, the object. And it's how people make it more realistic. So let's go ahead and and choose cool light and compare each one. And we'll stick with the one that looks best. All right. So now we just render. Let's save it first. And once you save it, we're able to render it. Rendering just creates an image of the object. And once you initiate the rendering, It'll take some time. Besides that, what, something else you could do is you could capture the image of this metal. It basically saves this workspace you have here as an image. And there you go. So thank you so much for coming and see you in the next one.